Hi everyone, I'm Chris Hernandez with City Communications and welcome to the Weekly Report. Here are the top three things you should know this week. The Casey Streetcar is kicking off its big extension project. The city has a new, more aggressive strategy for snow plowing. And if you got married over the holidays, it's almost time to reserve your shelter if you'd like to get married in a park. So we are here at KC Streetcar in their maintenance facility and the big news is the big federal grant. $174 million so we can build south all the way to the plaza and UMKC. This project funded through FTA's Capital Investment Grants Program will extend the original Kansas City streetcar three and a half miles south from Union Station to the University of Missouri, Kansas City. This grant, the first capital investment grant awarded to the streetcar and the largest federal transit award in the city's history, adds to the growing streetcar network that started with the opening of the original Two Mile Line four years ago. I'm happy to officially sign the full funding grant agreement for the Kansas City Streetcar Main Street Extension. We are proud to be your federal partner supporting the Kansas City Streetcar Extension and the Americans who depend on public transportation. Well, first of all, it's the largest grant in our region's history. And so for that alone, it's a really significant and monumental occasion. But what it's going to allow us to do is build a $350 million streetcar extension connecting downtown to the University of Missouri, Kansas City campus. Uh, really realizing a vision that's been decades in the making, transforming our regional transit system and activating and really um, encouraging development and, and activity up and down Main Street. It's going to transform uh, the center of the city for the better. Casey Water is also working on the infrastructure replacements that are happening under Main Street before we lay the streetcar rails along Main Street. Well, right now we are on Main Street where our upgrades on Main Project has already started. This is a very critical project because Casey Water will be replacing age old, century old infrastructure underneath uh, Main Street here and we'll be doing that from Pershing Road all the way to 51st Street. Now the streetcar expansion is, is a very highly anticipated project and we want to get the work done before that construction starts. So Casey Water will be replacing, restoring, repairing their infrastructure and at least 15 other utility companies will be doing the same thing. A utility and private agencies will be underground replacing their infrastructure so we can get this done before those rails are even laid. The city manager has announced improvements to the city's snowplow operations following that big storm on New Year's weekend. City manager Brian Platt rode along with crews during the storm, which was the first snowstorm since he started working here last month. The more aggressive approach to salting and plowing includes adding 50 trucks and 100 drivers for snow events, assigning all available employees in solid waste and the water department to snow operations during every snowstorm, increasing the amount of salting, adding overnight shifts to residential routes, and suspending trash and recycling during big storms to make those drivers available for snow plowing. The, the most important part for us is that we're making proactive and aggressive changes to the way that we address snowstorms and snow events to make sure that 
our streets are as safe and as clean as they can be as quickly as possible. We're adding more drivers, we're adding more equipment, we're being more efficient in allocating that equipment and deploying that equipment, and we're doing what we can to use our resources in the most efficient way. If you dream about getting married in Loose Park or another city park, now is your chance. Starting February 1st, you can make your reservation for a shelter house for your big event. Just go to kcparks.org and watch this video about how to do it. Hello, my name is Roosevelt Lyons, KC Parks Deputy Director. Uh, we have a few changes to share with you due to COVID-19. Shelter and ball field reservations will not start until February 1st this year. Uh, you can go online and reserve your shelter or ball, ball field starting February 1st. If you are unable to reserve online and need to make a payment in person, you can make an appointment at either Casey North Community Center, Greg Kleiss, or Southeast Community Centers. You must make an appointment to pay for your reservation in, purpose, in person. So if possible, try to do it online at kcparks.org. We're currently taking requests for weddings and other events in and around our parks. To do that, simply fill out an event request form online. We appreciate your help with this. Stay safe and enjoy our parks responsibly. Don't forget, city offices are closed on January 18th for the upcoming Martin Luther King Jr. holiday, and that means trash and recycling moves one day later on the holiday schedule. Thanks for watching the Weekly Report. I'm Chris Hernandez. Be sure to check out this cool video about how you can be involved in city snow plowing efforts. The City of Kansas City works hard to keep roads accessible during winter weather. With 6,500 lane miles of roads in the city, we work around the clock to keep streets accessible for citizens during a snow or ice event. On residential streets, a single path is cleared down the center of the road and salt is applied to hills and intersections. What can you do to improve safety and accessibility in your own neighborhood during winter weather? Shovel a 10-foot swath at the end of your driveway. When you shovel, shovel across your drive and not into the street. Park on the north and west sides of the street so that plows can access more narrow roads in residential areas. Avoid parking at the end of a steep hill as plows could lose traction if there is ice present. If your kids are enjoying a snow day, ensure they are not playing or sledding on city streets. Keep sidewalks adjacent to your property clear. If you have an elderly neighbor or a neighbor with a disability, assist them in clearing their sidewalk and driveway. Wait until the next day after the snow ends to call 311 to report slick spots. The city works hard to stay on routes and reach every street on their assigned route before rerouting to address slick spots. Be sure to visit kcmo.gov snow to stay up to date with the latest. The City of Kansas City is happy to work for you to provide access citywide during winter weather.